Hey guys and welcome to the video showing how I upcycled these photo frames. So the first thing you're going to need is two frames. These can be any frames. I used two that I got from Pound Shop, Poundland and you get two in a pack and two glasses or candlesticks. I managed to pick these up from the charity shop. I got five for 99p so I've still got three left and then I'm also using the Turner and Gray spray paint. This is the black gloss finish and I picked this up from B&M and it was 2 dollars and I used this in a previous craft and I really liked it so I'm happy to use it again. So obviously if you buy black photo frames or whatever colour you're spraying them then you won't have to spray paint the frames but because I'm using these and I want them black then I'll be spray painting them. So I just took out the glass and everything else, the back of it, so I can just spray paint the frame and then we're going to spray paint the whole of the glass, the inside and the outside. Um, probably just one coat it's quite good stuff this spray paint so it shouldn't take too much and I'll just do my quick usual um, welcome if you're new thanks for stopping by and um, I hope you like the video also if you're coming back it's great that you've come back thank you for your continued support you have no idea how much it means to me I'm really enjoying making these videos at the moment and I'm loving sharing my ideas with you also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you leave a comment, I'll always reply. So we're going to pop outside and spray paint the frames and the glasses. I am holding my phone with one hand and spraying with the other. So I'm not going to show you all of um, me doing all the spray painting, but I'll just start it off. Um, I'm really happy with this spray paint. So we're just going to spray the frame and do a light coat. Um, make sure that we spray around all the sides and the inside of the frame as well and then I left this to dry for 24 hours um, so I finished it off the, I finished making the frames the day after um, just to make sure that everything was completely dry so I sprayed both the frames the inside and all around the outside and the glasses I only did one um, coat on the glasses so I've popped everything back into the frame. Now, if you're going to be doing this craft, I would suggest that if you're going to pop pictures in, put the pictures in before we glue them to the glasses, just because it will make life a lot easier. I haven't got anything at the moment that I want to put into these frames. So I just put the paper that came in the frame back in for now, just so I could make them and show you how to do them. So I was looking for some like old, black and white pictures of Paris but I've been in every single bookshop and all the charity shops and I can't find anything yet so for now they'll just stay with nothing in but what we're going to do is decide if you want them vertical or horizontal the frames and we are going to glue them onto the glasses by using a little bit of hot glue so and then point and then just popping into place the frame don't worry too much about being able to see the glue from the front because I'm going to add a few little flowers in the front of these once they're finished so you won't see the glue and then you just want to hold the frame down and hold it until it sticks it shouldn't take too long and then pull off any excess glue So for this craft I decided to do one horizontal and one vertical just to give it a little bit more height in one side than the other. I am going to put these in my bathroom at some point once I find the pictures that I want for them. And that's what it looks like. Now you could just leave them like that or like I said I'm going to add a couple of flowers. You could add embellishments around the frames. Um, I'm not going to stick the flowers into them so that I can change them if I want to. I might put some Christmas flowers in at Christmas and then put the white roses back in when um, Christmas is over. So again with the other one I just added some glue and then held the photo frame in place until it was dry. And 
And there we go. There's the second one. So for the flowers, I just used some flowers that I got from Poundland. These are the white roses. I just took a tiny little bit of the leaves off and one of the white roses. And like I said, I'm not going to glue these in because I want to be able to change them when we get up to near Christmas. So for now, they're just placed in the front. So really simple. I've moved over now so you can see the front view. And all I'm going to do is place some green leaves in and a white rose in each of them to finish the displays off. Really quick and simple craft. The only thing that takes a while is obviously the drying time for the spray paint. But other than that, it's really simple and easy to do. So, and like I said, you can decorate the frames and do whatever you want. So that's it. It's finished. And now I've got two new frames for my bathroom. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one, which will probably be Sunday. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. Bye.